Hello, welcome back to Brand Sushi Life Link. In this episode, I want to show you uh, this little setup that I made using Blender 4.4 Alpha. It's basically uh, involving like uh, simulations. So let's take a look. Now you are observing something that's happening in real time. It's actually quite magical. So you can see I'm holding this empty, and as you can see, the booleans happening into the default cube is happening in real time and it's actually cutting out cutting into the the box and on top of that there's also this use pencil just for you know as for an effects for aesthetics purpose i use this line art <clears throat> just to make the the outline outside of the box but that's actually a uh, hide that for now we don't need to see that and let's get out of the camera let's actually turn on if I turn on the cavity okay already turn on let's take a look at the setup inside geometry nodes so in order to do this again you need to use blender 4.0 alpha and let's take a look at the geometry node setup So this geometry node setup is happening inside the default cube, but you can use any objects. Uh, there's this empty objects position that's being observed on the fly in real time. The setup itself is quite simple. Um, the simulations happens, the process inside simulation is basically the, the difference operations. You can actually flip it instead of using difference you can use others uh, maybe like union so currently the the instance is actually eating away the queue i believe uh, i uh, let's take a look let me see how we can explain this so this one is the set material we don't need to see that there's the simulations happening here so our original geometry goes in and then being eaten away by the instance of random cube okay uh, first of all we can control the size of the cube that's cutting away okay I'm, I just make it larger and there's this multiplier for the random position of the cube okay now it's happening again so let's start okay, you can see while it's performing the simulations it's eating away our cube let's try actually use matcap Maybe we can see this a little bit clearer. Okay. Pretty simple effect, but actually it's quite interesting. So let's take a look. Okay, the instancing, we need this. Uh, first of all, we start with a, sim a single point. Position 0, 0, 0. Uh, don't worry about the radius. We instance some cubes on that point. And then, and then we set the position randomly using this random value. This is the minimum and the maximum of the random value that we are scattering. And then there's this multiplier. Uh, and then we pipe this into the offset position. So on top of that, we, are, we also um, have this empty so the empty can act as the starting points for our instance and then yeah it's just gonna randomly scatter our cube and then we can uh, realize instances so it's super simple and then we use it to cut uh, our original objects on the fly okay so that's pretty easy self-explanatory 
let's say, uh, can we start with multiple points? I wonder if that's going to work. Yeah, now it's uh, actually cutting a lot more aggressively because we have five cube in random positions. Yeah, it's a lot faster. Actually, the simulation things in Blender that's currently being pushed into future Blender, like Blender 4.0, that's this is actually quite powerful. I really like, I really like this. Um, I wonder, like, if at this point we what if, what if we change this to Union? Maybe it will crash. Maybe it will continue oh yeah it's actually <clears throat> it's gonna continue amazingly enough it's continue generating cube and then adding things so boolean operations of course we know it can be unions difference intersect it's almost like painting in voxel right in 3d space i always want to have this kind of ability, uh, of course, I definitely need some kind of VR tools. Just need a way to kind of observe the space around around me, or you know, like around yourself, and then you create some things on top of it. Just drawing voxels. It seems really simple, but uh, if you do this in in real life, I mean. To be able to do this is quite powerful. Of course, currently we are doing this inside Blender, inside the 3D view, and yeah, it's drawing the voxel on the fly. Okay, the voxel is being drawn randomly. The cube is actually quite random as well. I randomized the size here. So between 0 0.2 and 1, generate random value. And let's make even faster, you know, 10 points. And I can move my empty, continue the simulations. So it's, it's tracking the empty. It's doing real time booleans. That's why it's slow. Um, and then if you change it, if you flip it again, it's gonna turn into different. So either union or difference, but you cannot switch it. Uh, you need to, you cannot switch it on the fly, I don't think, but these operations can be changed manually. After you have this, you can, oh, okay. You can always right click and maybe convert to mesh. Now it's become a real object, right? And you can remesh. I think it's quite a powerful way to create something. I kind of like this. Yes. Maybe this is our artwork for today. Let's start again. Okay, let's say you have the monkey head, for example, and you just bevel it and then subdivide or remesh. Remesh it first, so we have some details. Right click, convert to mesh, and then we can cut away these objects using our empty. Let's use the Geometry nodes and our setup. Now that we are on frame 319, it's actually already trying to cut away our monkey head. shouldn't okay should uh, reset the position
So it, it's already performing booleans to our monkey head. Our monkey head has too much uh, resolution at the moment. So let's delete that. Start again. Geometry nodes. Okay, it's already performing booleans. Let's use difference. already happening now uh, let's make it not too strong make the cube a bit smaller you know and multipliers no okay start again run the simulations so now the bunch of instance of cube is eating away Suzanne on the fly so it's really it depends on your machine as well while it's performing this boolean, it's quite heavy process. But it's really powerful. Okay. Cool. Now that we are done with this, if we move this into line and then go inside the camera, turn on our line art, which hopefully, okay, you can see the line. This is grease pencil line being generated on the fly. So I quite like this look. And if we enable this in camera view, set our screen okay now we have this line art and the boolean is still happening but I, I quite like this final result so it's quite like a street art kind of thing you know it's pretty abstract so yeah that's a quick look into the simulations uh, it's very basic I know but it's uh, just like you know a bunch of instance cutting or performing booleans on the original source objects using geometry nodes but it's a uh, yeah really powerful and i quite like it hopefully you find it useful thanks again for tuning in and i'll see you next time thank you